Well, good morning, everybody out there in YouTube land. We're doing something a little different today. See that Magnum truck up in front of me? That's a buddy of mine. That's a Magnum Matt. Shout out to Matt. Good guy. I like him. Good thing we're uh, running tandem loads today. We both uh, picked up these uh, these loads in Park Rapids this morning. It is a Saturday morning. And we are running tandem all the way out to West Jordan, Utah, suburb of uh, Salt Lake City. I thought it was pretty cool. You don't get to run tandem with a buddy very often when you're OTR. So good day, right? And uh, yesterday, graduated my trainee into a solo truck. Got into a brand new 2018, 579 all decked out. He was one happy puppy. You know, that's a good day when you get out of the training truck and you get into your solo truck. I know exactly what he's feeling today. He's probably driving along going, freedom! <laughs> get to drive the truck he wants to, the way he wants to, stop where he wants to, go when he wants to. Do it at his pace instead of somebody else's pace. And plus, just having the privacy and living in your own house, man. So, anyway, I know he's one happy camper today. And, oh, here's a little bit of news. I put my truck into the shop yesterday, 4 p.m. Truck's got it's a brand new Peterbilt. It's only got 60,000 miles on it. Well, apparently, it was getting its little check up there. Some things weren't reading right. So they sent it over to the Peterbilt dealership. And the Peterbilt dealership wanted to run some tests on it. This, that, and the other. So they kept my truck, man. That brings us to another subject. So the truck I'm driving today, this is a loaner. Pretty nice loaner, by the way. 2019 579 Peterbilt. Of course, decked out just like mine. It's a, it's a double bunk, but it's not a ultra loft like mine is. So pretty much the same, just not as tall in the sleeper. Still stand-up sleeper, I mean. Not that big of a difference. But man, it is just a major pain whenever you have to get out of your own truck and get into another truck. So you pull out of your home truck just enough stuff to last you a week. So you don't have all your stuff, man. You know, I don't have my microwave in here. I don't have my 32-inch color TV in here. Don't have uh, my cooking appliances. So we'll be eating out all this week. But just moving your stuff from one truck to another truck, that's a hassle. And when you uh, change trucks permanently, oh yeah, that's the other thing I don't have. I don't have my CB. So no CB radio, no microwave, no grill, no TV. Kind of a drag, right? Oh, well, I'm sure we can survive a week without the comforts of home. Kind of spoiled. 
more run that way. But man, when you change over from one truck to another truck permanently, man, I need a day, a whole day to do that. Just like moving your house. dragging here. Ah, back in the rear dump. Well, didn't have a whole lot to say today. On our way to Utah, man, I, I love this drive, especially the, the last third of it. Got to go down the west side of Yellowstone Park. Beautimus, beautimus, beautimus. It'll be a nice ride. I told Matt up here I'd show him all my favorite restaurants as we take this trip. Go stop here at uh, Fargo, North Dakota. Go scale these loads. Just so happens, the place we're going to scale the load has a nice buffet breakfast on Saturday mornings. You know we're going to tear that up. Going to get my food grind on. Let's see. Do I need to shout out to anybody else? Can't think of anybody else named all right right now. But anyway, we are westbound and down. Yeah, the song goes eastbound and down. Got a long way to go and a short way to get there. Oh, we're kind of backwards. This uh, this run here is, I think it's about 1,600 miles. And uh, I got three days to drive it. I don't deliver until first thing Tuesday morning. It's going to be a nice little casual drive. Only about 500 miles plus a day. We'd be chilling. Anyway, get up here at Fargo, get my grind up. After we scale these loads, I'm going to probably take the lead here. I think Matt up there in front of me is kind of pokey. And call him Pokey Matt. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. We'll catch up with y'all later. Remember, you two can change the world. All you got to do is be nice to each other. Bye-bye.